Danino Negrero was well known in Brazil for his TV documentaries about creatures of the Amazon. On this expedition, he's on the hunt for anacondas in Colombia. He's accompanied by a mysterious jungle legend known to locals as El Diablo. He's a Takuna Indian, said to have nearly magical power over the snakes. The expedition fearlessly follows El Diablo into the jungle. He makes a startling claim that he can smell the anacondas. And right here, he pulls one from the edge of a lake. El Diablo hands the snake to the reporter, and Tonino tries to give it right back. But the big snake wraps around his arm, and he discovers it's not that easy to get rid of a coiling anaconda. El Diablo releases the snake. But as the film crew takes a break, Tonino wanders off by himself. Tonino had tried to recapture the snake by himself. He reached for it with his right hand and tried to pin its head with his left. But the snake strikes at his shoulder. And in a flash, it coils tightly around his chest. Tonino had the snake wrapped around here, also here, so he couldn't breathe. He was completely trapped. He couldn't get out of the snake's grip. It takes five full-grown men to uncoil the powerful beast from Tonino's chest, but it immediately recoils around his leg. The anaconda has 100 sharp teeth that bend in like barbs on a fish hook. Now those teeth are digging into Tonino's shoulder, causing excruciating pain. Suddenly, the snake releases the man. As Tonino cradles his injured arm, El Diablo sets the anaconda free for a second time. Within two months, he's back in the Amazon filming new adventures. But he'll never forget the day that big jungle predator caught him. One scary moment was when the anaconda started to squeeze my chest really hard and made my breathing very difficult so that I wouldn't be able to call for help. Pedal, pedal, get over here fast, I screamed. With very little air in my lungs. I was afraid they wouldn't hear me. And that scared me more and more. Because I was in pain, breathless, and very scared. And finally they came and rescued me. At least he has no hard feelings for the snake. I was the one that bothered the anaconda. It was just defending itself. Truth be told, I am guilty of disturbing the anaconda. 